In this video, I'm going to show you how to inspect, replace, and pack wheel bearings. Now, with this one, you can see this wheel seal was bad. See all the grease around it? it looks like it wasn't installed properly. Yeah, it was installed like this. I don't know if you can tell that. Whoever installed it didn't use one of these. They probably beat it in around with a hammer. You're gonna hammer it in like this so it goes in straight or it won't seal properly. Well, regardless, this is, we're gonna use the seal puller right here. Pull it out. Zip it under that groove. Give it some. Bit of force pulls it right out. You just hook it right in there. All right. Now we pull our wheel bearing out. What we want to do is clean it off. Some brake clean. Bearing all nice and clean. Now what we want to do is check for rivet or not rivets, divots, scores in the uh, size of the bearing. You want to see no scores. You want them to be nice and smooth. So when it rides the race, it's nice and smooth. Clean the race out. I always take out the old grease, put in new. Same thing with this. I want to make sure there's no scores on the side of the race. You want to make sure the bearing rides in there smooth. Alright. Now we cleaned that out. All right, now we're gonna pack the bearing. We're gonna use this bearing pack. Bearing packer, easy pack, whatever you call it. You don't have to do what I'm doing. It's like I always tell you, this is the way I do it. Whatever makes you feel comfortable. Drop your bearing down in there. When you add pressure, it pushes grease up through the center. Get a little circular motion, push it in. Pushes the grease through. Wipe the old grease away.
I start seeing red, I'm satisfied with that. Clean the old grease. Take the grease, put it on the outside, rub it around. That bear nice and soaked with grease. You get your this in here. Slap it on in there, get it all around in there. Be generous with the grease. Should get that race nice and good. Drop your bearing. Put it in there like so. Some more grease. Put it around there, rub it in there. Try to keep the away from the edge here where the seal is going to go you get your new seal get this stuff out of the way Like so, you want to get yourself something flat, goes around it so you can hit it evenly. You need a hammer. Okay, make sure you're still centered. And hit it flat on the center. knock your spring out. You want to keep your spring in there. The spring back here I should have showed you. I'll show you on another one. See so what happens when you do that? It keeps it flat as long as you're keeping it all around like so. That way your bushing will go in flat. Want to make sure there's no high edges. The last guy did, he probably didn't use something like this. He probably just took the hammer and went around, which is not a good thing. I mean, if you have a technique, go right ahead, but I don't recommend it. Use that. Hammers it down straight. Bring your seal up. Make sure you get all the grease off your brake drum in here. Use some brake clean, clean it all up. And uh, do the same thing for the other bearing on the other side and put it back on your wheel. And you're good to go. Oh, yeah, uh... A little bit of grease here so it slips on your spindle. And one more thing I wanted to show you the spring I was talking about. So there's a little spring right there that holds the uh, the seal onto your your spindle. What I do is I put grease around there to hold the spring in. I've already seen somebody put it in and 
the spring gets knocked out somehow. I don't know how it gets knocked out, but sometimes it does. I put grease in there to hold the spring in. Okay, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching. Please comment below.